What's up, but it's Rob, this is Apparel Success. And if I asked you right now, what are the main ways that your clothing brand is different from all of the other brands out there? Would you have a solid answer for me? What I wanna do for you in this video is share with you the seven ways that my clothing brand is different from all of the others so that you can see what this looks like to be clearly expressed and vocalized. And maybe this will spark some ideas for you and your own clothing brand in terms of how you can be different and separate your brand from all the others. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. And if designs are something that you need help with, I really recommend that you try them out. These are some of the best selling designs on my website and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you or simply use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. All right, so really quickly here, for those of you who don't know, my clothing brand is a Canadian lifestyle brand that is going after the out for a rip culture. If you've ever seen out for a rip on YouTube, that's basically what my clothing brand is aligned with in terms of the taste of the brand, the expression of the brand, the type of people that I'm trying to sell to. And in the past 10 or 20 years, this whole subculture of people talking like Bud and oh yeah, no for sure has just become a huge thing in Canada and it's absolutely hilarious. If you've ever seen the show Letter Kenny, or Trailer Park Boys, it's very aligned with, with that type of audience. And what I noticed was there's all these TV shows about it and people are talking this way all the time, but there's not a clothing brand representing this, this whole subculture, this whole attitude and this whole identity. So that's what I built my whole brand around. And the first way that my clothing brand is different is that the niche that I'm going after, the audience that I'm going after and the identity that I'm going after this subculture that I've chosen, there's no brand, there's no clothing brand that exists that is made specifically for these people. So the first way is just the niche that I've chosen, the identity that I've chosen. I found a bit of a blue ocean in the sense that it's never really been done before. There's never been a brand that's solely focused on going after those people. And the second way that my clothing brand is different from all of the others is the specific sayings that I've incorporated into a lot of the designs that I'm using that are timeless. So in Canada here, one of the ways that we talk is we go, oh yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Oh yeah, no, for sure, bud. And that's just kind of the way that we talk here. And so what I did is I've made a shirt that literally says, oh yeah, no, for sure. And everything's kind of spelt wrong to sound exactly like what it sounds like when we talk like that. And there's just never really been a design made like that. So when I put that in front of my audience, you just literally can't find it anywhere else and it's completely new, it's completely unique. The third way that my clothing brand is different from all of the others is who my clothing brand has been associated with. The endorsements that I've received from celebrities and influencers is pretty hard to achieve here in Canada. I've gotten my clothing worn by some pretty high level people here in Canada. And so for any other clothing brand that's starting up to land those celebrities and influencers to have them supporting their brand, taking pictures, wearing their clothing would be pretty difficult. So the conglomerate of celebrities and influencers that have supported my brand is really unique. It's really different. And it also really distinguishes my brand in the best way possible, which is giving my brand more credibility, showing people that, you know, it's not just me trying to sell clothing, but other really cool people have worn my brand before. And that really helps separate my brand and give my brand more value. The fourth way that my clothing brand is different is the use of this word bud in basically everything that we do. And bud isn't an actual word spelled B-A-H-D. Bud spelled B-A-H-D is like an exaggerated form of the real word bud, like hey bud, but in Canadian slang. So it's like, what's up bud? Cause that's just kind of how we talk here. And anytime I put out Facebook ads, even on my website, I always use this word bud, like representing rural Canada, bud, grab your hoodies, bud, 25% off everything, bud. And it just keeps the brand making sense to my audience. It keeps the brand there and it keeps the brand really unique. Even on the website, we have an our buds section, which is where I basically keep all of the celebrities and influencers that have worn our brand in the past. And it's almost like, 
our buds. It just perfectly works with our brand. And there's no other website, there's no other brand that's really done this in the way that we have. The fifth way that my clothing brand is different is through custom made in Canada products with the sayings that are specific to my audience. So, you know, not just having regular hoodies, not just having regular t-shirts, but then offering some products here and there that have some customization to them that are specifically made in Canada and that also incorporate the specific sayings that we're trying to include inside of our designs. The sixth way that my brand is different is the tagline representing rural Canada. And I know that this sounds like something that's not a big deal, but you wouldn't believe the amount of brands that I see when I do brand reviews that have taglines and sayings like we represent adventure or the outdoors or we're going after, you know, people who we're, we're trying to make the world happy, a happier place that just have zero sense of uniqueness. There's really nothing separating their brand from all the others out there. And honestly, I've heard a lot of the taglines that I see so many times and other brands use the exact same way. And so you're basically just coupling yourself in with these other brands that are the exact same and there's nothing distinguishing your brands from the other. So my tagline representing rural Canada, there's no other brand that has that as their tagline. They come across my brand if they're from rural Canada, it's unique, it's different, and it also makes sense to them and it's something that they can resonate with. And the seventh way that my clothing brand is different is the landing page or homepage on my website. Most websites, when you land on their website, it's the main image with somebody wearing their clothing and then you scroll down and you're immediately into the shop now and into the products. On my clothing brand's website, I have it so that you have to scroll through a bit of a learning experience for my brand where you learn who's worn my brand before, you learn what my brand's about. And I'm kind of just, just dripping in the value so that people can see what my brand's about. They get, they're able to sink their teeth in so that when they do eventually get to those products, they can see those products and those products have a whole new, they have a whole new context after going through everything that they've read, everything that they, that they know about my brand now. So, you know, I think that that's one way that my brand is also different from the others that are out there. Now, one final note here that I think is really important is that being different isn't about satisfying your ego. It's about the practicality of being different. And when you're being different, you're much more likely to get attention, to stand out from the crowd, to offer your customers a new experience and a new feeling when they wear your clothing and when they support your brand. And it's just so common that I see clothing brands that have the same thing going on as every other brand. And when I look at their brand, I can't find one aspect of their brand that you could truly say is different from other brands that you've seen before. There's not one quality of their brand that separates them, that makes them unique, that gives them, that gives their customers or potential customers any real reason to buy. And the real reason why people will buy your brand is through separating your brand from the others. Not only in terms of value and having more value and having a high value, but then also just being different and unique and giving them a new experience. So I hope that this gave you some idea in terms of how you can do this for your own brand. If you consumed some value out of this video, drop a like. It really helps me get these videos out there. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out my free clothing brand marketing masterclass. All you have to do to get access is go to apparelsuccess.com slash masterclass and you can watch the whole thing for free. And if you made it to this point in the video, I want to tell you about the closed Facebook group that we have for Apparel Success. There's a link in the description. Follow that link, join us in the group, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.